one very consistent feature of my day. And in fact, I can't go through a whole day without coming up with a new reason to be grateful to be a member of this community. A lot of times it's something small. I'm grateful for all of the many acts of kindness um, and a thoughtfulness in our community. I'm often grateful to people. I say, I tell them, I say, well, thank you for thinking of me. But today uh, I'm grateful for something a lot bigger than that. In fact, it goes all the way to the level of I'm thank you because you have made my life possible. Uh, if you were a contributor to what was then known as the Bishop's Annual Appeal in 2008, 2009, um, I would not be here had you not made that contribution. 100% uh, of my needs were met um, by the support that I got from the diocese and 100% of the support that the diocese gives to um, men in priestly formation comes from the Bishop's Annual Appeal. So again, if you contributed back in 2008 and 2009, I'm only here in the capacity that I am because of your generosity and your faithfulness back in 2008 and 2009. The reason why I'm bringing this up now is because we are in the midst of what is now known as the appeal. And uh, as many parishes do, we note that contributions to the appeal provide for needs in the parish that the parish is simply not able to provide for herself. And forming new priests is one of them. The good news is. Uh, in 2023, we have more men um, in formation, more men inquiring about formation than we have had in many years. The challenging news is that uh, the diocese right now is struggling in a way that she never has before to find the resources to be able to go to each one of those men and say yes. Uh, we will be able to admit you to formation. We will be able to sustain you through formation and uh, with the grace of God on through to your priestly ordination. So if you have made already a donation to the appeal for 2023, thank you, because we will be sitting here, what is it now, 15 years from now, grateful for the contributions that we uh, made in 2023, and uh, if the guy who's sitting in my chair in 20 in 15 years isn't telling you how grateful he is, then you get in touch with me, and I'll make sure and get him straightened out. Um, and if you have not made a contribution uh, to the appeal for 2023, understand that it contains support for two things, really. Um, that are necessary to build the St. Francis of 2043 that Father Dave and I have built a vision for. The first is for uh, the continuing support of men discerning for uh, a priestly vocation, and namely for your future pastor and your future parochial vicar. Also, it contains a special parish goal uh, to be able to set aside capital funds for the acquisition of real estate. Now, that's something that I understand far less uh, than I do about priestly formation, but I do also know that it's necessary that if St. Francis is to become what we envision her to be 20 years from now, um, acquiring additional real estate in the area so that we have room to build and expand uh, is also something, is a need that we will we'll need to be accounted for. and. The enhanced parish goal for the appeal in 2023 is for many reasons the right place to be to be building that support. So again, um, thank you for your support uh, in 2023. Um, remember that God is who he says he is. You are who he says you are and live the life that he created you to live.